Welcome, welcome everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight for November 28th through December 4th. Oh, we're headed into a whole new month. And for this week, Monday through Sunday, November 28th through December 4th, the card that came through is the wheel and the message from the wheel is the wheel brings unexpected events into our sphere this week, heralding in the new world's ability to bring good luck and fortune at the speed of thought. People think of fate, karma, and destiny as sometimes negative entities, but that is the old paradigm way to view our coming attractions. With the release of the old, you have unknowingly released the ideas and their effects of the old outdated standards and are actively rewriting your expectations, objectives, and intentions for your future self and the new world consciousness onward and upward. This is a fabulous card to go from November into December, a whole new month. Sometimes it's been a little jittery getting into a new month. We've had some cards that just weren't really great cards <laughs> to head in to a new month, but this one is wonderful. Now we've got that, that feeling of celebration and joy and happiness coming from Thanksgiving, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, but the idea that surrounds that idea of Thanksgiving is happy and joyous get togethers. And it starts the holiday season. This um, last week, we've had Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and now Cyber Monday today. And so with that, that just kind of kicks off the whole sh holiday shopping. And this year, even though they didn't see a lot of people going out and shopping, they've already had record number of people that are taking advantage of the, um, the sales and everything. And this year, it's a little bit more difficult for some people to celebrate necessarily by purchasing things. So think about making things. The wheel is great for helping us undergo that change of thought. What is it that really lights you up and that would make you feel wonderful to give? Now, it may be that going out and purchasing gifts will just light you up. And that is that old paradigm, you know, going out and purchasing gifts. But maybe think about creating your own gifts, making your gifts, writing a letter, a heartfelt letter, and sending that as a Christmas or holiday card or whatever it is. Think about other ways. Think about supporting those small businesses, the people on Etsy, the people that have small um, businesses online. Um, those are a great way to shop, if, especially if you don't want to go out and get into that hustle and bustle. <laughs> now, some people enjoy that and love that. I'm not one of those people, but it is, it does bring you joy. It brings you happiness to see other people happy. So it really does create that holiday atmosphere. When you think of beautiful ways to go about the gift giving, or even just the giving holiday season, the wheel has changed our perspective this week and will help usher in, if you haven't thought of the new paradigm very much, this is a great opportunity to allow the collective consciousness to envelop you, the collective consciousness of new ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways of giving new ways of honoring your traditions. Maybe it's time for a change. Maybe it's something that we need to just do a total flip over and see what truly resonates with you as far as this week and maybe going forward with this holiday season. What changes can you make or, um, figure out as far as the gift giving or the um, celebratory way of doing things. It, just think about what would make you happy. What would make the person that you're thinking about gift giving, what would make them happy? And 
so a lot of times you're going to find that it's not the big box stores or it's not the big gift that is truly important. It's actually the thought, the thought, that single thought that you have of creating joy or um, gifting somebody something that they've always thought about um, that would help or um, just create happiness and joy in their life. So just honor yourself, honor that idea of just the new you, the new self, and be able to sit with that joy and happiness that this card truly represents. It's a change. We can honor that change and we can honor the new ways of being and thinking and doing. Just this week, being able to take a moment and just think about it just for a little bit. I think you'll be surprised at what comes forward. Onward and upward. All right. So for midweek and end week, I decided to go with Wisdom of Avalon Oracle Cards, and that is by Colette Baron reed And for midweek, and midweek is Monday through Thursday or November 28th through December 1st, the card that came through is Forgiveness. This is interesting to me because I believe that as we go through these changes, these metamorphical changes, that it really makes us sad at times that we maybe wasted time or that we maybe have done something that you don't think that you should have done. Um, and the idea of forgiveness is truly beneficial. Being able to forgive yourself because you were doing the best that you could at the time. Remember, this is all new. We have been shifting and changing and I'm um, going through our own evolution and not just on a personal basis. This whole world is going through an evolution of sorts. So we're right smack dab in the middle of this. Now, before it was a very materialistic type of um, place, and we're shifting back into that more spiritual, that more feminine, that more softer um, atmosphere, that, uh, that space in which we can be and breathe and just be still instead of going, going, going all the time. And as we go through this, we may see where we have done things or said things or um, thought we were things that now just seem like it was a waste of time or effort or um, money or whatever it is. And that is how we grow, how we got to this point. We got to this point by changing by evolving by going through that metamorphosis that we needed to and when we maybe started out it was a different you and every time you make a change you're a whole new you now this new consciousness this new paradigm this new shift in yourself this new you changed rapidly quickly and um you shifted in a different manner and everyone has been going through this different shift this different manner of shifting and change and so being able to forgive yourself especially for past things is key to being able to recognize and step fully into the being that you are now. When you can do that, you truly can let go of the other things that maybe you need to forgive and um, forgive others for. And so it will make it so much easier to do. Once you forgive yourself, 
And I know it's difficult sometimes because you sit and it's almost like a cringe moment when you sit and think about some of the things that have gone on that maybe you shouldn't have done or shouldn't have said or shouldn't have been. But just know that was the old you and now you are the new you. And so being able to step fully into that being, being able to forgive, not forget, forgive what you did, said, been, or done, and be able to step fully into who you truly are now, who you really want to be, and say and do and be the things that you know you want to be, see, do, have, whatever, knowing that the forgiveness will come easier, but will still be as potent as any other time that you've been having to forgive. So just open up to forgiveness at the beginning of this week. So for end week, and end week is Thursday through Sunday or December 1st through December 4th, the card that came through is the High Priestess. And the message from the High Priestess is discernment, presence, prophecy, vision. So for the end week, especially when you've allowed yourself to forgive and release and let go and do those cl that cleanup work that you need to, to step fully into the new you, the high priestess comes and shows you the way. All of those gifts that you were born with, it doesn't matter if you're male, female, or whatever. The fact is, is that we have the high priestess within each of us. We have gifts and talents and messages that we want and need to offer the world. We have the ability to tap into our gifts that we were born with, whether that is any of the clairs, your intuition, whatever it is, know that this heightens the ability when you step into the new you. This whole week is about you realizing that the wheel coming full circle and letting you know that you're in this space now for a reason. You're in this space of forgiving releasing, letting go, all of the cleanup work that we need to do to make space, honestly, making space for this new self, for this new world consciousness to envelop and to be able to bloom beautifully. Think about what the high priestess would mean to you. Being able to stand in that presence, being able to honor your gifts and talents and messages, being able to see ev that everyone has the high priestess within them. And it's not your high priestess, it's their high priestess. It's their gifts, talents, messages that they need to give to the world as well. And respecting not only yourself for what you are here to give, do, be, and have, but also your neighbor, your sister, your brother in this world, being able to respect them and honor them for their gifts and contributions to this world. That's how a wheel goes, right? We go round and round and round. And that is going to help us continue the cleanup process as well. When we come upon something where we cringe and think, oh, I can't believe I did that in the past. I can't believe I, I thought that, did that, was that. And allows you to forgive just a little bit more. So allow the high priestess to come into your space, tap into your personal high priestess or call on the high priestess for help if need be. But just know that this is a beautiful week to really get things started for this holiday season. And think about the new things 
the new world consciousness, the new you, and how you want to see this new way of celebrating this holiday season. All right. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. And just know, this is the last 24 hours of the mask revealing itself. I will leave a link down below so that you can see what is on sale and how that sale applies to products and services that you may purchase. You take care. Have a fabulous week. And as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.